Bruh, your eyes is not deceiving you. The handheld device you've all been waiting for is here. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started the giveaway 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 in october i will be giving away either switch oled xbox series s or a playstation 5 console now here's my dilemma i was only able to secure one switch oled i wanted to get at least two so this is what i'm gonna do I'm going to pause with the announcements of the giveaway. I'm going to have the official giveaway announcement in August once I'm able to try to secure an extra one of one of those consoles. But we are having a giveaway. Make sure you're subscribed. October, a console is coming. But bro, all the news today. Valve has just announced a super powerful handheld device everything we wanted in the switch pro is right here oh my goodness bro valve has just announced the steam deck a 400 dollars handheld gaming pc that's right pc wait till you check out the specs on this bad boy this is coming courtesy of ign Valve has now officially announced the Steam Deck, a handheld gaming PC arriving when? This year, bro. Valve knew what they were doing. On the same day the Switch OLED pre-orders went live, they announced this. <coughs> All right. Um, the Steam Deck has a form factor similar to that <coughs> of a slightly larger Nintendo Switch, but with the capabilities of a full gaming PC. It runs on a modified version of Valve Steam OS, complete with a new console-like interface for easy navigation of both the Steam Store and your Steam library. But it also provides access to an unrestricted computer desktop where any third-party applications can be installed. Whoa! All right, in terms of hardware, let's check out these specs. Seven inch, 1280 by 800 resolution, 60 Hertz LCD screen, custom AMD APU featuring a four core, eight thread CPU paired with, check this out, eight RDNA2 compute units for the GPU. Bro! This device, only $400, can run RDNA 2. That's what the Xbox Series X and the PS5 runs, bro. <laughs> I don't know why I'd be so disappointed in Nintendo, bro. Oh, this could have been our Switch Pro, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Practically speaking, that makes it... Oh, hold, wait, hold up. Um, compute units with the GPU and 16 gigabytes of LP DDR5 RAM. 16 gigabytes, bro. Practically speaking, that makes it a substantially, substantial amount stronger than the Switch, says the article, allowing it to run modern games impressively re well. As a point of reference, I was able to play Jedi Fallen Order on an in-development Steam Deck at high graphical settings with little to no issues. That's insane. Bro, do you know how graphically intense um, Jedi Fallen Order can get? And the dude is saying he was able to run it on high PC settings 
on this handheld. All this time I was trying to defend Nintendo. Oh, the reason why they're not going for that much power is because if you try to cram all that technology in a handheld, it's gonna cost $2,000. Valve is doing it for $400, $50 more. I almost wanna cancel my Switch OLED pre-order. I got got, bro. I just realized, bro, live while I'm recording this video, I got an epiphany. Nintendo just robbed me. I'm paying $350 for a Switch I already have. And they're doing this for only $50 more? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it can even run uh, the article continues it can even suspend running games like a console and Val says they intent the intent is really to give players access to their entire steam library on the go i'm gonna share my thoughts on everything after but i'm sharing my thoughts while we're talking about this to better enable this the control control setup controller setup control controller setup on either side of the screen has all the buttons triggers bro check this out i'm gonna pause it right here Bro, it has um pads. What are those things? Pads um that come on my Elite Xbox controller. The trigger pads at the back. Valve stunting on everybody, bro. I heard somebody say that it has haptic, the same haptic feedback like the dual sense. Let me see. Let me keep reading. All right. Triggers, full-size joysticks use a spec from a modern gamepad, full-size joysticks. The sticks are actually capacitive, meaning they can detect when your thumb is resting on them. Whoa! And below each one is a small trackpad that can be used for mouse inputs. I did see that. If you notice it below it, they are like um, like mouse pads. That's crazy. They're also hey, the DualSense got a mouse trackpad. Um, there are also four back buttons on the rear of the Steam Deck that can be mapped to however you fit. The display is a multi-input. Is the Switch multi? Yeah, it is. The Switch is multi-input. It is. It is. It is. Multi-input touchscreen. Crazy. Additionally, the Steam Deck has Bluetooth support for any device. All right. Speaking of selling, the Steam will be available in three different models. Importantly, however, the only major difference between, between them will be storage size and speed with their graphical capabilities identical. The base version will cost 399, 64 gigabytes. Okay, followed by a 529 model. Okay, now it's starting to make a little bit more sense. For 256 gigabytes. And finally, a 650 version with 512 gigabytes. But, hey bro, real talk though. 64 gigabytes for $400 is still crazy. The Switch OLED is 64 gigabytes for $350, bro. The latter two Steam Decks will also have faster SSDs, and all three will allow you to install play games off of micro exist. Okay, so the base model doesn't have an SSD. That's why the other two are more expensive, 500 and 600. Those have SSDs. All right, doesn't have a release debt, but it's set for holiday 2021. This is crazy, bro. Now, am I going to get one? Probably not, man. Because I don't have, I don't even have, I have a Steam account, but I don't play PC like that, bro. There are no exclu there's no PC exclusives I want. So if I get this game, I mean, if I get this console, I'm not going to really use it. I, I just know me, bro. I, I like to play on my TV, game on my TV for the most part and I, when I stream on my gaming channel. And so, but this is crazy. If you have a solid steam library this is some dope 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 stuff bro now let's talk about nintendo i almost feel depressed brah switch oled pre-orders went live today nintendo announced on twitter at 3 p.m eastern standard time i called my gamestop and of course gamestop was clueless they was like we don't know what you're talking about i called them like three times today they didn't know so I just said, let me just drive in. I drove in, booyah, they allowed me to pre-order it. <laughs> and so I was able to, to secure one console, but right now I have to be real, bro. I just spent $350.
for the same switch. I don't even know if I want to keep it. I'm being I'm being very frank. <laughs> because man, you get so much more from that Valve con I'm just keeping it a buck, man. Nintendo should have launched a Switch Pro this year. I'm afraid they're going to do what they did with the Wii and the Wii U. When every when I was saying, man, they need an HD console. They need an HD console. Nintendo it was just trying to ride that Wii wave and they waited too long. They got to push out your other console when your other console is still hot, bro. You know when the PS5 dropped? Right the same uh, two months after Sony launched Ghost of Tsushima and Last of Us 2. Two of their best, biggest games. PS4 was still um, selling good. I don't know if it was selling good, but it was still... Um, Hotly talked about. It had great games. This is the time, Nintendo. Man. I'm just saying, bro. I'm keeping it a buck, man. All right, that's, a, that's all I got to say for this video. What do you guys think about this new Valve console? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All oh, things gaming, bro. bro. Oh, I have all the Zelda stuff. Bruh. Skyward Sword Amiibo got delayed, <laughs> adding insult to injury. Nintendo announced that the, um, the Skyward Sword Amiibo, that they have been delayed. Some people are reporting that they're still getting their ship, but the bulk of them have been delayed. That's official by Nintendo. I didn't make that up. How do you d delay an Amiibo? I'm out, boy. Bye.